you've got just let's take the Olympic trials. 59 flat won the trials five years ago, Olivia Smaliga. It may take under 59 just to make the finals at the trials in Omaha. That's how fast this event has gotten. It is unbelievable. Katinka Hosu won the gold medal at 58-4. That might not even medal. In fact, I know it won't medal when we get to Tokyo. It has gotten crazy fast. So Reagan Smith with a little adjustment there at the start has the second best beginning. Castadello in lane number one blasting off pretty well but Smith asserting herself here in lane number four. Boy just beautiful tempo right now you see her out in front looking very good 28 2 little bit faster than she was in the prelim but she gets so much off that wall she just explodes off the wall and that's where it is such an importance for her going forward. We talked about goes underwater. Yeah, we talked about Reagan Smith Rowdy getting some close racing experience earlier in this meet. Not in this one. It looks like she's going to win here in a walk. Bacon coming on strong at the end, but Reagan Smith will have enough to get there to the wall and a no doubt about it victory here in the hundred back for her. 58.77 seconds, the time for Reagan Smith. Again, four hundreds faster than she went in the prelims this morning. Phoebe Bacon about eight and a half tenths behind with Katie Duluth ending up third. 28 to 30.5 right there in the middle. She just elevates so well. And that reaction for her sets her momentum. And that's what she does so good underwater. Straight back. That back is fully arched when she comes up and over the water. 28 2 as I mentioned going out clearly was it had no trouble with this one. We, we talked about her three other races earlier. She had trouble, but not tonight. I mean, you could see Phoebe Bacon coming on with a 59.6, but that's still a full second, full body length win at the end. And once she gets in a little bit of taper mode, uh, that's going to come down tremendously. So Reagan Smith able to win Bacon there second. They flip their results from the 200 back with a world record holder on top. And Katie DeLuf breaks a minute for the first time in this race, getting 59.71, new personal best for her, beating her sister, who ends up in fourth. And Reagan is with us. Congratulations. Rowdy's talking about your underwaters and how critical they are for you. What are you thinking about to, to maximize your ability in that part of the event? Yeah, uh, the underwaters are definitely the fastest part of the race. and. Uh, I definitely try to extend my underwaters as much as I can. It's been something that my coach Mike and I have worked really hard on, and I think I've come a long way, so I'm pretty pleased with them. What do you think the changes that need to be made going forward in that race when we head to Omaha? Oh, gosh. Um, kind of just cleaning things up. I think overall I'm really pleased with that race. Um, I'll definitely look at the video and kind of tweak some things, but um, I think I'll leave that up to Mike. He's the mastermind, and I'll just do what he says. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you guys so much.